Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing Moronic Frauder of the Week number four. So the rules go like this. For every lie, half-truth, or misconception, the frauditor gets a point. Or if he or she says something that's really stupid. Ten points are awarded if the frauditor implicitly or explicitly calls out the law enforcement or any other department as tyrants. In the first week of this competition, we had S. Elmo, who had a total of 44 points. That link will be in the description below. Last week, I pitted S. Elmo off with Granny Katie Kidman. And she came out with a grand total of 90 points. Last week, we had Jonathan from Bay Area Transparency with a total of 54 points. In today's installment, we have Chili Day Castro. Take a bow. Now, I got a question for you, Chili. Can you beat out Katie Kidman? Kate, you got a few days left to talk about me. I hope you enjoy it. Yo, what's going on, Playboy? How you guys doing? What's going on out there? What's going on out there in the land of YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? How is everybody? What is going on? What is going on? So, how is everybody? Good to see you, Guillermo. Good to see you. How are you? How are you? Good to see everybody. So, I went to court against um, bad people, and the judge didn't get to call let me call a witness and didn't look at any evidence so the judge sat up there listened to two people's stories who just lied their asses off and then didn't look at any of the evidence and then just ruled against me you have to look at the videos that she makes this is insane you're listening to people who are putting on a good front but they're the bad people that this is beyond reasonable i'm trying to explain to you at least three of them i'd like to call my witness so he can testify what he's been through by just knowing me. And let him introduce his evidence. What he's he been through is not relevant for me to determine if you've experienced something such that you should receive an order. Wow, Chile, that law degree that you worked so hard for is really helping you out. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have one. So, you know, I talked to a friend yesterday and they said, you know, there's a chance you'll lose the case anyway. And then... From there, you know, look, I've got to get back to mission here. You know, there's there's people, you know, the lawsuits I'm doing are going to go through. So, um, you know, let the let the trolls celebrate. And, and, you know, you get to be creepy more. You get to be creepy for longer. Like, what's the <laughs> what's I mean? It's so it's so you people are so creepy. The people who stalk me are so creepy. Like, what's that like to be such a creeper? How do you tell your friends and family that you do the things you do? So creepy. But the the wheels of justice take a long time. Oh, I don't know, Chili. Why don't you tell us how it feels to be a creeper? Because you're one of the biggest ones I've seen around here. Time to spin. It's going to take a long time to spin. It's going to take a long time. So it's perfectly fine. You know, it is what it is. Can I still broadcast? Can I still broadcast? Okay, yes. So they got owned all these things. Okay, so who cares? But but for the people who come here for to for the change and to to look at new a new system and to get cameras in the courtroom, you get to see what happened here. You know, there's there's uh, there's there was no accountability for the judge who didn't let me call a witness and didn't listen to any of my evidence. I mean, pretty, 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 pretty shocking. But anyway, listen, I just wanted to come on here and tell the people who love and support this channel and what we're doing. So listen, the next couple days, got to shift directions here because I'm going to go into entrepreneur mode and I'm going to create the new timeline. And then I told you that I'm gonna do something to double this movement, triple this movement. So I'm doing that and that happens all this week. So good to see you Golden State fan. 
you know, and by the way, you know, when we double or triple the movement, we'll shed all of these trolls who this is what they like enjoy doing. What's up, Zen? Good to see you, dude. So just so you guys know, you know, it doesn't stop me from doing what I'm doing, you know? Unfortunately, you know, it's just weird. It's just creepy and weird. I mean, it really, really is. It's creepy and weird. It is, it is creepy and it is, it is creepy and weird that, that people enjoy doing these weird things to other people. It's, it's weird. It's strange. I don't understand it, but. It doesn't change anything. We keep going down the road. Remember, the reason why most people came to this channel is because of what I do with education and what I do with cops and the ideas that I have to change this country to a more humane constitutional country. And that's, that's what I offer. And that's, that's what I'm just gonna continue to do. This sucks, of course. It sucks losing. It absolutely sucks, you know? But um, it doesn't change anything. Remember, you know, um, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but the plan here, you know, I leave Denver. I'm, I'm leaving Denver. Like, I'm, I'm packed up, I'm out, right? Take things off the wall, I'm leaving, right? And, and then I'm gonna be, I mean, to get this movement to double over the next three months, I'm gonna be really, really busy. So I'm just not gonna have a lot of time. You know, I'm just not gonna have a lot of time. You know, so I'm gonna be super busy. So, you know, this is definitely disappointing for sure. It sucks for sure, you know. Um, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, um, uh, moderators, you guys can do whatever you want with the trolls. We'll, we can start to block the trolls again. There's no point in keeping them around. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can block them permanently or time them out. I really don't care because remember these, these people, they, 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 they get off on, on this kind of strange thing, you know? And Bruce and Yum and the people here, you know, we gotta get back to mission. And, and I'll be honest, you know, I talked to uh, Zayner yesterday and zayner has got this chick. She's, he's, you know, he's suing this chick and you know, the federal tort lawsuit, listen, it's gonna, it's gonna come around. It's gonna come around. It's gonna come around. Um, and, uh, there you go, Trent. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Have a heyday, Trent. You can, you can block them all permanently. I really don't care. I don't care. They, they hate watch me anyway. They watch me on the they watch me on backup channels. Hey, Les, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you guys. This doesn't change anything. It doesn't, it doesn't change anything. What it actually does, to be honest, for the people who came here because of my you know, uh, knowledge and because of my ability and stuff like that, um, this actually will, the people who came here for what I offer, you'll, you actually will appreciate this now because now we get more back to, to mission you know, because I'm not gonna have any extra time. I don't think you guys understand the schedule I created for myself, November, uh, uh, October, November, December. I created a schedule for myself that is just, it's gonna be a hard schedule. This is gonna be a taxing schedule. But you know, am I disappointed? Sure I am. You know, I mean, but if you guys watch the court, I begged her to call my witness. I begged her to introduce my evidence. She listened to their stories, whatever story they told, and then said, okay. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was, I mean. <sighs> but at the end of the day, remember, these, these people, they're not gonna be able to stop what I'm doing next. You know, these people are not gonna be able to stop. They're, they won't be able to stop what I'm doing next. They're not gonna be able to stop me. They can't stop me. You can't stop me. <laughs> you can't. You can't stop me. You. You. You can't stop greatness. Oh my God, Chili! I just can't stand this anymore. I think I'm going to create a new category for narcissistic asshats like yourself, where you will receive twenty points for stuff like this, calling yourself great, and it will be twenty points per offense. And I will not stop because I know inside of me is greatness 
to lead and get us to a level that is based on justice and righteousness and truth and transparency. And so it's like, you know, look what happened in court. You wonder why the prison industry is like this. The judge didn't see any evidence. She didn't look at any evidence. She didn't look at anything I, I created. I've always wondered what would happen if I reached 100 on this counter. Now I know. And you owe me a new house, Chili. She didn't look at any of the evidence. She didn't listen to a witness. She didn't read any affidavits. She just said, I listened to your story. I listened to your story. Okay, I believe the two people in front of me and the guy on the camera's wrong. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So listen, you know, maybe maybe now that I've lost and I'm beaten, maybe all the trolls will go away now. You guys won. You guys have beaten me. I I am just beaten. I'm beaten. I can't, I can't, I'm just beaten. You know, I, I lost, I, I lost everything. You know, I, I lost that uh, harassment protection order. So everything about me is now lost. You guys should quickly just go do something else. <laughs> What's up, Zen? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Dwayne. How are you, dude? Yeah, listen, we're not gonna stop. It's, this has nothing, you guys listen, this, they, they wanted to distract me. You have done that yourself. And they did, and now, you know, maybe, maybe I just need to focus just on what we're doing here. Just on what we're doing, just, just do that. Yep, just carry on, dude. Just carry on. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a uh, it was gross. I mean, it was gross. The the you know, Kate played up that you know she's a woman, and it was just it was really really it was really bad. And then Josh got up there and said, "Well, you know, here's what I did," and he just he, it was just a, a but they didn't look at any evidence. They 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 didn't they, they didn't look at any evidence. You know, they didn't, there was no evidence. They didn't accept any evidence. They didn't look at any evidence and they didn't let me call any witnesses. So I don't really know how that's a, a fair trial. I don't know how that's fair. You heard one story and you heard another story. You said, okay, I, I believe these two people over this guy. And that's, it was just an embarrassment. You know, it was an embarrassment. And I, and I, I put together the evidence and, and, they, and the judge didn't look at it. It was a kangaroo court, Rob. Yeah, it was a, definitely a kangaroo court. And, you know, I was, you know, I've been up working my butt off all week, putting that evidence together, and the judge didn't even look at it. It was just pathetic. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know. So listen, I'm, I got to get out of here. I'm, I'm going somewhere else. I'm not staying here in Denver. I'm going somewhere else. And, uh, and then the really hard work begins because this next venture is, is uh, the next, the way, the way that we double our following, triple our following, where we get 500,000 or a million subscribers, you know, it's gonna require a lot of work from me. It's gonna require a lot of work. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay focused on the work and I'm gonna create the board game for so you can teach your kids history like real history. That's what I'm going to do. So um, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it, man. Um, so that's what I'm going to. That's what I'm going to work on. As I'm going to work on, I'm going to work on that, and I'm just going to stay super duper focused on it because you know these people. They'll 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 just keep on trying to to find some reason to be horrible. I mean, remember, you know, you have to, you have to buy into hate. You have to buy into being a hate monger. You have to buy into hating other people. And, and, and I just don't, you know, I don't hate, you know, as much as I don't like these two people, you know, I, I don't want to be full of hate. So maybe this will give me a chance to push away from them and get the love back. Cause you know, when I watched their videos, I had to watch all their videos for the lawsuits and stuff like that. But 
it was it's just like so negative and such a downer and there's there's no mission and there's no sense of purpose in it and it's just discouraging and it makes you feel bad to be honest you know makes makes my heart i can feel the pressure in my eyes from my high blood pressure and it's just like um it's just it's just so crazy it's you know the way it makes so I spent the last week p putting the evidence package together, you know. Um, oh, all the evidence was excluded, dude. They, they didn't see a single bit of evidence, you know. They didn't, they didn't see any evidence at all whatsoever. So, you know, if you don't see any evidence whatsoever, then how could we possibly have a fair trial? If you don't look at any evidence, um, then... You know, what are you going to do? If no one's... If you're not going to look at the evidence that I put together to show you then you're just going to listen to someone, you know, did you rob that place? No, I did not rob the place. You know, he broke into my house. No, no, I didn't break into his house. I promise it wasn't me. And the, the, the judge says, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, you know, maybe this was a, a blessing in disguise, you know, I mean, maybe I'll put the video out that I put on my, you know, it's just, yeah, it was pretty bad, man. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty bad, you know, and listen, we're not going to stop. You guys, you guys know that, right? Uh, <laughs> this only brings me right back to focus. This brings me just more because, because remember now I'm out of time. Now, now I'm completely out of time. I see you, Deanna. Good to, Deanna Chera Moore. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hamzi. Hey, Hamzi. Now, you know, we got to get right back to mission. So, um, I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go into serious work mode over the next, uh, three months because I don't have a choice. I have to just, I have to work my butt off over the next few months. So I don't have much of a choice, you know? <sighs> hey, Gloria, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, Zen, how are you? Hey, Dwayne. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yep. The real, the real hate mongers, you know, I, I'm just going to exit them. You know, it is what it is. You, if you see a real hate monger, you know who they are, you know, just, just send them. We don't need their distraction because now we're going to move forward. I, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm super, I'm super, you know, Rebecca's dirty South cats, who's 100% of troll, but you know, you look tired. Dude, I am tired. I was up until five o'clock in the morning getting the package sent over to Zayner to get uh, the package in to the court and then she just, she wouldn't even see the evidence. So, you know, if, 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 if she, if she won't see the evidence, um, you know, yeah. Uh, do you want to see, sure, 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 sure. I'll show it to you guys. Okay. First of all, I'm going to stop the count right here. I am tired of this. I am so tired of counting his stupidity. From this point on, I will just comment on the stupid evidence he wants to show. Here's the video that shows that Kate is absolutely just crazy and what a stalker she is. But, but, but watch and listen. And, and listen to what she says here. You have no idea how invasive the internet can be, Chili. Like, really, honestly. You should really smarten up. Oh my God, Chili. You are such a pansy. That is not a threat whatsoever. She is just stating what it is like to be an internet personality. You've got fans and you've got haters. Your fans will try to build you up. Your haters will try to bring you down. If you're too thin-skinned to realize that, then you do not belong on the internet. Chuck in Illinois, $10 for the cause. Thank you. I don't know what the cause is, but I appreciate it. Really, we're just trolling here. We're just messing around. It's for fun. I filed a harassment protection order against Kate, and I filed a federal tort lawsuit. Is this still fun, Kate? Are you having a good time? It, do people think this is fun? To track me and put dog shit on my doorstep and all those things? You guys think this is fun? Just a conduit, hoping that Chili will understand. Like, if you don't like the position that you're in right now, like, it's time to close down YouTube. I don't, I'm not telling you to do that. I don't even want- So, if I don't want her to harass me and stalk me and, 
and try to uh, put fear in me, then I have to close my YouTube account. No, Chili. You're twisting her words into your own little narrative, and everybody can see right through it, except for certain people. Like I said before, Chili, if you can't take people stalking you or trying to bring you down, don't be an internet celebrity or any type of celebrity. Live a quiet life somewhere out of the way where nobody can bother you. I you to do that. I love the content that this guy provides. Like, it's genuinely entertaining to me. Like, the best sitcom that's ever existed. But if he doesn't like this, like, he needs to shut... Because he's a lol cow. This is what's going to happen. There's going to be nothing but throngs of... Again, look up Ice Poseidon. Look up Chris Chan. Look up Cyrax. You know, you've talked to Cyrax. Really look at what Cyrax is, though. Because those are your peers now. Like, that is where you've put yourself. So, like, no matter what. What a nutball. shut down tomorrow, Chili. This chick not, is such a nutball. No, she's not. Not. She's speaking the truth, which is something that you desperately need to learn how to do. There's going to be 10 more behind me. She's so crazy. Because you're a troll magnet. You are a lol cow. You are being milked for others' enjoyment. I can't stop it. I can't help it. I can't help you. If I could for your own mental sanity at this point, I would. I would be like, guys, like, you know, cut, you know, kind of push the brakes here, but I have no control over it. Nobody does. Like She's the only person Ill. who has control over this is Chili. He needs to either shut his shit down or do nothing but like stream from a fixed location where you can't see where he is. See, right? I, I put then the, at least you don't have to worry about people fucking pulling these pranks. See, everything's in there. I put everything. And then she says, you don't have to worry about these people pulling these pranks on you in public. And then it goes right into the prank she pulls. Well, yeah, and that's what he was doing essentially is like, you know, he kind of semi-covertly slides into Massachusetts. And of course, I've got people in my Discord server that, that are tracking him like an endangered great white. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like, right, right. <laughs> watching his every move. And for a guy that this is, is that's this paranoid, like, I honestly, I don't do a lot of that filming out in public. That was like the most frustrating part to me. It's like, it's like, I'm trying to film, but I also want to interact with the guy. Yeah, I was so amped up when I came in. Like, they're going to tell me in a minute that I'm shaking like a leaf. Like, I full disclosure, I absolutely was. Driving there was like white knuckle. I feel like everybody was going like 10 miles under the speed limit. I was like, I am going to lose these people. Like, I'm literally on Discord going, all right, 10 minutes. And they're like, nope, they're still there. I'm like, all right, five minutes. Nope, they're still there. I was convinced because he's so squirrely. He's so paranoid, right? I don't often race. I'm yeah, I'm paranoid as you're tracking my location, checking in to stalk me. And I'm paranoid, though. But you're actually stalking me. But I'm paranoid. Okay. To paraphrase the judge in this case, you made it way too easy for people to track you down. That is on you. A couple towns away to meet a uh, <laughs> fucking cokehead in Sally Jeffail, you know, glasses. Um, it's just not, not something I do that often. And I definitely don't usually film, like, out. In, it's just not something I do. I stream from home mm -hmm. pretty much or when we have the studio, the studio. So I was pretty amped up. I could see him doing it vindictively because he's using the idea of this protective order as a threat and it's going to take down my channel and he's going to get me this time and I, yeah, I I better feel lucky that there's rule of law or he'd beat the shit out of me again. I better feel lucky that there's rule of law or he'd beat the shit out of me again. Because the way where I parked, right, there was like, there was no way that they were leaving without some sort of confrontation. So Dallas, if someone, if someone continually runs into me, I can push them away from me. Yeah, yeah, you have you have a right to push, you know, get someone away from you. That it's like literally, he's telling me to get away from him. I was just baiting him into illustrating what a fucking tyrant he is. I went there with the understanding that there was probably going to be an issue, and I sought that out. Did he push you? Multiple times. <laughs> Rolling pieces I've ever seen, like uh, you know, Dragon Lord um, or Chris Chan, or you know, so like you know, so you have no idea how invasive the internet can be, Chili. Like, really, honestly, you should really smarten up. No fucking way. No fucking way. Okay, Charlie. 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 Come here. Oh, 
Tilly, you are a classic showman. You set this part up all by yourself, didn't you? I mean, I can tell that's not feces on your hands. In my opinion, as somebody who worked around that kind of stuff for years working at Walmart, that is most likely Nutella, given the consistency of the substance on your hand. Okay, everybody, I'm just going to cut the video right here. If that's the best evidence he's got, then he never had anything to begin with. If I had not given him those bonuses earlier, he most likely would have achieved a higher score than Katie Kidman without those bonuses. So, for now, with 123 points, Chili De Castro, or Chilito, or Delete Laws, or whatever you want to call him, is now the new champion of Moronic Frogger of the Week. Now, can we get somebody to dethrone him? Probably not for a while.